Hey guys, welcome to History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about Blaze. Now, Blaze has in fact been in the Mortal Kombat series for a very long time, making very small cameos here and there, but wasn't entirely flushed out until Armageddon came. Now, Blaze's first chronological appearance is in Mortal Kombat 2. Now, fans of the series at the time were quite notorious for naming NPCs, actually giving Blaze the name Hornbuckle. Now, Blaze would disappear for a little while until he returned in Deadly Alliance, where it's revealed that he's an elemental that was on the quest until he was attacked by an ancient cult. Now this cult would in fact serve the dead Dragon King. By capturing Blaze, they would bound his soul to the last Dragon Egg, forcing Blaze against his will to guard it. And during the events of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, the Great Dragon Egg would finally hatch, bounding its soul to Reptile's body and allowing Blaze to be free, in which he would then continue on his quest, in which the truth of Blaze is finally revealed to us, in which he is a being created by Delia, an Edenian god, alongside her husband Argus, and his purpose was to awaken Taven and Dagon from their slumber, in which one of the two Edenian brothers would have to defeat him in order to absorb godlike power, in order to put in line some of the beings that were existing at the time. Unfortunately, due to Blaze being held in the egg incubation chamber, the number of fighters had significantly increased, including their power levels, and he also missed the opportunity to free Taven and Dagon from their slumber, as the two were now walking the world on their own accord. It was here that he realised the only way he could minimise some of the power levels that were coming off the warriors was to create a battle that would kill the many, but to ensure the victor, which in his eyes were Taven and Dagon at the time, to create a better world and prevent Armageddon, as there were constant battles and people dying. He noticed a very powerful presence controlling Dagon, and decided to travel to the Neverrealm to find its source. Now, during the conquest mode of Armageddon, Blaze would finally appear and confront Taven and Dagon, as he apologises to the two brothers and says that things did not go as planned, in which he then teleports the two to Edenia where the final battle was supposed to occur in which one of the brothers is supposed to defeat Blaze and absorb his energy. Now Taven is able to defeat his brother Dagon, in which Blaze informs him that if Taven defeats him in Mortal Kombat, then the future of all of the realms would rest on his shoulders. But Taven is so disheartened by the events that had transpired, that he actually begins reconsidering what his real purpose is. And during this time as well, the Battle of Armageddon has already commenced, with a lot of people being killed. Now, although one of the Edenian brothers were prophesied to win this battle, Shao Kahn would be the one to emerge victorious. This in turn would lead to him essentially becoming the One Being, which would then lead to the death of many combatants and destruction of the realms, which in turn would give birth to the new timeline. And that's really it for Blaze, I have to admit, I wish there was a lot more to this character, as I extremely love his design from Armageddon. Now, Blaze hasn't really appeared in a new timeline, which makes me hope that when the character eventually does return, He's done justice. Now guys, I also want to say that keep an eye out for Sunday's video as I'm going to be talking about Mortal Kombat stuff and the future of essentially this channel. So now as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care and I will see you guys next time.